We'll now have the message by Aifashani Duhaney, Malik Blythe, Kimar Forbes, Kevin Palmer, Mark Anthony Nicholson, and Malik Bruce. They will come in that order. So Aifashani. Good morning, church. My name is Aifa Shani Dehaney. This youth service, I, along with some of my fellow teen workshop members, were asked to share with you what we were thankful for. For me, it was hard to pick out of the millions of things I thought of. However, I managed to think of what I would like to share with you. What I am thankful for? Well, me, I, I am thankful for this blessed church. This wonderful church, I can honestly say, has been the only church I remember going to, and I love it. To me, this church is home away from home, friends away from friends, and family away from family. From I was little, this church has been a source of encouragement and growth. You all have helped me to nurture my Spirit, nurture me spiritually. You all have also helped me to learn things about myself I did not know. And you have helped me to do things that I did not think I could do, have done. I am very grateful that I'm a part of this positive, lovely, strong, blessed, God-filled church. I love you. I appreciate you. I salute the Christ in you. I see you as shining lights onto my world. God is blessing you now, and so it is. We don't have Malik Blythe. Good morning, church. Good morning. I have been tasked with finding a message with thanksgiving to share with you all today. And I went and I found a poem that I think captures the substance of thanksgiving perfectly. This is written by Michael P. Johnson and it goes, When times are lean with naught to share, when love is hard to find, where cold nights rain with cupboards bare, then God is on the mind. But who gives praise when life is grand, when God has seen us through? Who've learned in truth to understand that God remembers too. How oft we fail to thank the Lord, so who've learned wait, for all his kindness done. Through love he'll turn his vengeful sword in Christ his faithful son. Give thanks to God for large and small. Give thanks for life on earth, from deep within or not at all. Give praise for all your worth. Worthy is God of all our praise for all his wondrous deeds. Who serve the truth in all their ways may find they have no needs. Yet still nations live in stress where harvest brings defeat. They need to turn so God can bless with food for all to eat. Yet those who have can ill afford with bellies full to sit. We need to pray through Christ our Lord. We need to do our bit. For things can change as times before and God held back the rain. For who can tell if sin once more won't change our times again? Have Kimar Forbes. Good morning, church. All good things come to those who wait. Be thankful for the bad things too, for they only open our eyes to the good things we were not paying attention to before. Remember everything happens for a reason, though the, the reason may not be as clear as we would like it to be. I'm thankful for diligence, good, God's forgiveness, our pastor, my friends, good health, peace in my life, people, animal, and parents and food, parents and food. Thank you.
We don't have Mark Kevin Palmer. Good morning, everyone. Today I will be doing a Thanksgiving prose. When I think of Thanksgiving, the first thing that comes to my mind is being grateful for life. Our parents make a lot of sacrifice because they love us and want the best for us. I am grateful for being able to move about because some children and adults cannot move their arms and legs. I give thanks for knowledge, strength, and understanding. Finally, I give thanks for God. No, Mark Anthony Nicholson. Good morning, everyone. A poem by Leon Enriquez. Be willing now to see the truth. Know just how love sculpts deep proof. Faith shows the way when hope seeds grand. Love primes each play to bless your friend. Live fond, dream well, as time meets space. Let zest now dwell to etch fond grace. Give thanks for all that your path meets. Heed souls circle when with windows, with wisdom sweet. Brief is our stay on earthly shores. Give thanks each day for peace and more. How to observe Thanksgiving. Count your blessings instead of your crosses. Count your gains instead of your losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. Count your friends instead of your foes. Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. Count your full years instead of your lean. Count your kind deeds instead of your mean. Count your health instead of your wealth. Count on the divine inside yourself. Unfortunately, our Malik Bruce is not with us now, so. Right. I see. We have, could the ushers please come forward?